So, so I've just been listening to the news and I don't normally listen to the mainstream anymore but sometimes I just dip in and I've been told that they're now going to make it 10 day man mandatory um, isolation if you, if you have any symptoms of coronavirus up from 7. Then I went to the um, worldometer.info website where you can see stats of practically everything including the coronavirus in every country and on there I wanted to find out exactly how many people are dying from this um, virus and I found out that in the UK the last date the 29th of July there were 83 deaths in the UK now we know that the government has stopped publishing the death figures because they've been going down every single week for, and, it's, and that's been happening for ages and yet they've been ramping up the fear and putting in more measures as the death rate's been plummeting and we know that the death rate cannot be trusted because anybody who simply dies in the UK at the moment seems to be dying from coronavirus which is ridiculous you know that's we know that this is suspect so that 83 deaths a day figure is also probably a lot less than that Meanwhile, I looked to see what the situation was in Spain because suddenly we've been told that we have to self-isolate if we come back from Spain. And I thought, well, why? It must be really bad in Spain then. What's going on there? Well, on the 29th of um, July in Spain, there were five, five deaths in Spain from coronavirus. Uh, that, that's um, pretty much negligible. I mean, this is more people die of the cold than, than that in, on any, any given day as far as I know. I'm not an expert on this, but I've been told that these figures are pretty minor compared to what's been doing, what's been happening around the world based on the cases of COVID-19. Now we know that a, a many, many people may get this, um, a, a, this virus, but most, the vast majority of them will recover and such a small percentage actually die directly from the coronavirus but it's really strange that the entire world economy has been uh, um, shut down based on those figures so, so what the hell is going on I mean what's what's really behind this I mean you've got to ask you know this is so crazy and how come every single country in the world is in on this I don't understand this I mean surely somebody's got the sense to say look for Christ's sake this is ridiculous you know let, let, let's let, let, let's look let's put things into perspective but no, no nobody seems to be doing that um, which makes you question who's coordinating this who's orchestrating it I don't know I mean I'm not I don't want to go down that path, although I have done a lot of research and I know a lot, a, lot, a lot of people are also doing their own research and they're reaching their own conclusions that we are, we're being lied to and there's something else afoot. This is um, not something that, that I can discuss on this video because there are so many different aspects to this that people just need to start looking into what else has been going on and why but anyway based on those figures you have to ask yourself this is ridiculous um, do not trust your, the politicians this whole aspect of wearing masks is 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 cruel mandant anything that's mandatory is is suspect and is not something that is in keeping with what used to be a free country and increasingly is not so. I wish you well. Keep looking and just ask the questions and you'll find out that you are being, will being led somewhere and we really need to find out where that is. Of course vaccinations have got a lot to do with this.